sorry I talk so much. Go show him some car stuff. Can't make anybody happy. You don't vlog enough. You talk too much. The welders are too loud. How about you just unsubscribe and go somewhere else then? Hey. You don't do Spanish videos. I don't do Spanish videos. Does not clean the lens? I don't comb my hair. The microphone. Oh, can you hear me? Oh, no, never mind. No microphone. Y'all are some <laughs> Percy motherfuckers, I'm telling you. But anyways, welcome back. How you guys doing? We got some cool shit going on. So as you guys know, we are going to go to the track with this Sunday with this car. So I called this guy last night. I was like, yo, we got to wrap it up. So he's wrapping it up. We're going to go get it aligned and then um, come back, flash it, update it all, and make some test hits. Uh, Pops over here finishing the alignment car. It, I'll tell you guys. If he doesn't tell you guys, I'll tell you. The car was done, but now he wants a full build of gear set. So Chani's coming back out now. He do a full build of gear set. It was literally ready to fire last night. And then Ryan's like, yo, buddy, uh, you know. That was another that was another phone call. Oh yeah, I'm sitting at the I'm sitting at the uh, my kids' soccer practice, like, yo, take that transmission out of the car. We gotta put a gear set in it tomorrow. And so we wanna make sure that this car could uh, perform when it's in Denver, so. Sorry, I can't give you a test ride in it today, but we are gonna go mob around in that SVJ. We're gonna do some modifications. Hey, you got an open lift for the SVJ? We're changing the exhaust. I love Peter 1016 industry, but I really need my car to sound like an F1 car. So we got a crazy exhaust that my friend Alex Choi is gonna pick up and bring for us, and we're gonna swap the exhaust today so we can roll around town like F1. So let's jump in the Aventador so you can get some before and after sound clips of how it sounds right now versus what it's gonna sound like. Let's ride. All right, should we review my truck? Oh, my Lambo. Let's review the Lambo. So again, every different exhaust manufacturer's got a different pitch. Mine doesn't really have that high, high, high pitch and I really, really want that high, high, high pitch. So we gotta take that exhaust off today. And of course my lead tech, Alex, probably doesn't like me always changing his days around. But hey, you got an open lift for me? Which means you guys gotta change my exhaust and make it happen. But let's call Alex Troy really quick to see if he's up, because I need him to drive from LA. Troy, he's sleeping, let's go. Oh, take that out. So, as you guys know, I had a lot of issues in the beginning. Um, the car's electrical system is very, very, very finicky. Not that others aren't, but this car's ground system, it's like a tether, it's like the battery ground goes this way, keeps going back. Well, apparently one of the grounds in the middle of the tunnel was slightly loose, causing the issues that I had. Fluke accident, but uh, my buddies at AGX fixed it. The idiot techs at O'Gara Lamborghini couldn't do shit. Alright, then we gotta find a road in Mexico. Go make some hits and some flybys for you guys out here. I jump in this car, I feel like Bruce, 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 Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Call me Wayne, baby.
think? What do you guys think? Burnout in the R8? That's when you know you got some money. Our neighbors are cool. So we put it the 15 inch conversion kit on and I tested burnout mode and then I tested launch. So I'm launching it just because the turbos are so big that I want to see if it moves the air. So on the world so it should be the same thing so we'll see how it does we're gonna jump on the freeway all right so we're gonna do a third here kind of sketchy with the new brakes the full potential of the car while you're driving it. But once you jump in the passenger seat, it's a whole different story. Woo! Woo I don't know if we'll get another hit. Mexico's way too busy at the border right now. I race one of these. It's gonna be fun. On a 15 inch tire on a Mickey Thompson. Yeah, this thing's booking and booking for sure. That was our Mexico trip. Pretty good, we'll see what the log says. God damn. Hey, what's up? Don't be snitching on me with the camera. What's that guy doing? With your face, no face, no case. No face, no case, you heard him. Parkour, parkour. Back to the, to the Tesla, man. I gotta go, Jess. What are you in the bush? Well, there was a little, little hiccup last night. Uh, we wanted to make some hits to make sure that the TCM file was good and of course click and forth broke forth fourth gear. So we built and I'm like, ah, oh, we're not gonna go testing, right? Because all our billet gears and transmissions are in cars and I don't have my new shipment that doesn't show up till next week. So my buddy Austin calls me this morning because he's gonna come go with us. And we just got done building him a full uh, phase five transmission that's sitting in the box. He's like, buddy, we're gonna go racing. I was like, nah, I broke. He's like, you know, I happen to have a fully built transmission in a box at your shop. I'm like, oh yeah. He's like, buddy, throw it in. Let's go racing. So here we are Saturday, called Raisin. Austin's hanging out. Gonna do a transmission swap. And if it works, we're still going testing. So let's ride. This is the shit that people don't show. But since it's his after hours, we've got a couple little drinks too. Stay hydrated. I got the bosses showed up. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Always. Terrible too. He's got all the attitude in the world. We're all here for moral support. Good job, Reyes. <laughs> Doing a great job, Reyes. Oh, oh, Big Head's trying to help with the crescent wrench. Are you helping, Big Head? You gonna help? Are you angry? Yeah. What the f <laughs> Did I lose my touch button? So we got the transmission out of the car. Um, put on the transmission table, this table's bad. My uncle's out of town. You got it? No. <laughs> um, so I'm having to do some tranny work. So what we're doing is taking the, mega, the, the essentially the computer out of this thing. And uh, gonna just swap this computer into Austin. 
Lovely Austin's transmission. Saving the day, buddy. Yes, you are. If we go sevens, it's because of you, Austin. Can't wait. <laughs> I'm gonna put a big sticker, thanks to Austin. <laughs> on Something's broken. All that metal on the shift fork. Oof. No bueno, amigo. But, since we're opening this puppy up, and I need all the clutch I could have, I'm gonna open this clutch, make sure it's perfect. Because with my luck, we'll go to the track. And then the clutch backs up. So, since we're here, we'll go ahead and slide this up. However, I can't show you guys what's in here. Everybody that's on the uh, V10 forum is always asking us what clutch you run. Can't show you this. Bye. Just some checking in there. She's all good. I did find some shit. It's like a bus in disguise. I'll show you guys actually. Because I'll tell you this the guy that you have build your car because they have these fancy transmission department names. Probably never like say that uh, those kind of things break. But let me show you. Anytime a transmission comes apart, you always want to check everything. But it was a busting in disguise. We took it apart. One of the bearings that sits inside the in between the the hub and the inner cage was damaged. This just happens. It's racing. It does not matter how much money you spend on your transmission. Sixty thousand dollars. My man Sean, I feel you. <laughs> but uh, brakes, and it's not about making it bulletproof, it's about how quick you can get it fixed and get your customer back on the road. So, let's go fast. We have Megatronics out, clutch updated. We're gonna leave this transmission here so Theo could rip it apart. So I f***ed up. This transmission only has an upgraded second, so it, of course when I threw 1700 horsepower on it last night, it just shattered fourth gear. So we're just gonna throw a full Billy gear set in there and it, 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 it would have broke, you know, it's better that it broke last night in testing. Hank actually was like, hey, you should save it for the track, but dude, it's Bakersfield, it's 300 miles away. The uh, oil tanks and the whole bottom of the car is on, so it's just to put the intercoolers on, pump fluids in it, make sure it goes through all the gears, take it off, load it on the trailer, and that's it. So give us a couple minutes, crossing fingers that the transmission works. It's racing, it's racing. I'm here on a Saturday. Put a transmission in this car just to go do a glory run tomorrow, essentially what I'm doing. But I'm doing it because it's good for the sport. I am very competitive. I like to have fun, I like to go fast. And it's a cool video for you guys. Transmission works. Goes in on the gears. Now we just gotta make sure the fluid is good. It's so short, like four quarts of oil. It is bone dry, so we spent all day here working to produce content for you guys. So hopefully tomorrow goes good. If not, hey, we try it. All we can do is try it. Like I always say, if it was easy, every mother would have seven second cars. They break and break and cost a lot of money. Today that was $50,000. Put a bumper on, rollers, panels. Load that on that trailer, see that over there? And I'm driving a bigger deal. Stay tuned. We do this again. We're somewhere. Um, so I went to sleep super late. One, woke up at five, rushed to the shop, been riding in the truck sleeping. I woke up with a sore throat. This will go seventh. I'm never doing this again. What up? What time is it right now? 6:49 on a Sunday, and we're out here. Shoot. Last night I'm sitting on my couch watching, you know, trying to relax after a pull out work day and I'm like, you know, I have a friend that's an adrenaline junkie. Phenomenal driver, weighs 120 pounds. You guys love him. I'm like, hmm. So guess who's gonna drive today? Choi's coming up and Choi's gonna pilot that thing for us. That's right, Mr. Choi. So let's see what happens. Let's roll. All right, boys, we're in Podunk, Idaho, I think. As you can see, can't be for miles. There's not even a McDonald's around here, but they built this new Tesla charger and I need a juice. Apparently I need to get the sand in my vagina because I have an electric vehicle, but these bums in their old vehicles, you know, they got to drive with their hands. It's very comfortable. I shouldn't admit this to the public, but I kind of like it. It's charging at 422 miles per hour. That's insane. Normally, oh, I can charge for like 200. Listen, let the, oh, listen, the nerds are going to take over the world. So if you guys are with me, these let's go nerds. follow us for f***ing burning ethanol corn. There's some nerds there too. And polluting the air. That's true too, but this will tow my Lambo pretty soon. Don't worry. Oh. Hey, look who's here. 
Hey, you, say hi. Him? You. Hey. <laughs> it's crazy that the Teslas are here. Tesla gang. People don't know? Now they do. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Down for life. He got a Tesla logo! They let us borrow these uh, freshy fresh wheels to make some hits in. Brand new tires and everything. Sheesh. Should look pretty good. Um, so we made it to the track. As you guys can see, the weather is out here. It's weird, but it's supposed to burn off in the next hour. So for now, we're just uh, prepping the car. Uh, Hank was kind enough. We It's a 15-inch conversion kit. We didn't get our 15s in time. So Hank was kind enough to let us borrow a set of his Ford lines with uh, ET Street R's on them. We don't... We ran an R once on Clay's car last week, and it seemed to work on Clay's car. So, I mean, we're here for five hours. Um, so we're gonna put these on and test it and see how it likes it. Worst case, we go back to a, an ass tire. Gavin? Yeah. So they're just prepping the car right now that I'm gonna put heat in the gearbox. And then um, go from there. I don't know how to get out of the car so I can give him a haircut. When you fly. <laughs> Make it hit to the 330 if it feels good and stay in it. See how it goes. This tire, uh, like I said, is uh, Hank's rim and tire configuration. Never ran it, so we'll see what it does. Worst case, we can just put on what we know works. You guys remember Clay's first video? Same <laughs> <laughs> He's ringing pinions, buddy. No pasa nada, wey. Monday morning, already making moves, baby. So, like racing, you reinforce a part, the next thing is broken. This thing, gears are phenomenal. Dotson makes, in my opinion, the best gears on the market. However, you see that guy? That is a factory ringing pinion. These things are in the same And when that tire shakes at all, boom, as you can see. So, now what we gotta do is put Billy ringing pinions in it and a better tire. Um, Next video should be interesting. While we didn't accomplish what we wanted to and we had the chance, uh, Hank is testing right now and probably gonna run a seven. So let's go ahead and already congratulate him. But uh, if things go right, I actually, his, his all wheel drive, all Dex controller took a sh and he texted me and asked him if I would send him one. 
So I'm a team player. I'm all about for the team to grow. So I took one out of my car and Ubered it all the way to Bakersfield. So I told him if he doesn't go sevens, never call me again. However, that is a wrap. You guys see what really goes into these things. A lot, a lot, a lot of work, a big team. We spend thousands of thousands of dollars, lots of time just for a couple seconds of adrenaline and rush. It's a wrap. See you next time.